Hello. It's been a little while since I've been out landscape um, photographing. <laughs> Hello. It's been a little while since I've gone out uh, with the intention of doing landscape photography. I've been pretty busy um, and I've also kind of been struggling for motivation a bit. Incidentally, this is also my first video with my new camera, which not to go all wild on anything, but it's new for me. It's a Sony a7 III, so I've moved away from Canon after, I think, 20 years, I suppose, of being um, Canon exclusive. And um, this was a kind of a functional decision for me, really. I was using a Canon 600D, which is a, still a perfectly good camera, but I, was, I felt like I was missing autofocus a bit, particularly when I was trying to find people's eyes. And um, it, was, uh, it was getting to the point where I felt like I couldn't trust my own camera anymore. So uh, I'm, I, up, I upgraded it. I can't really tell you where I am because everyone will come here, but uh, I'm in a poppy field. So um, let me explain why. I've actually taken far more photos in the last three months than I have at any other time in my life. But uh, they've been of people. So I've been starting up my business, so I'm now an independent videographer and photographer, and I've had some client shoots, and I've been working with a lot of models. And the reason for that is that I want to make sure that when I'm working with clients, I can make them feel as comfortable as possible, and I, um, I, can, I have a library in my head of poses and sort of behaviours in front of the camera that seem very natural and which sells their service as best that it can. So working with models for me was a, a great place, of, um, was a great way of doing that. But sort of the upshot of doing that over three months is that I've taken literally hundreds, well, thousands actually, thousands and thousands of photos. And with all these photos with human beings in them, it started to become a little bit odd to take photos without people in them. So um, I decided to go out um, looking for poppy fields. I just had it in my head that I wanted to take some photos of, of poppies. And I drove around East and West Sussex and a bit of Hampshire. And I actually only came across three fields. One of which is near Worthing. One of which is uh, very close to the Chattery Monument near Brighton which is where I filmed this vlog. And then there's this one, and I'm not gonna tell you where I am, but I'm in Sussex. The poppies that are still here are looking pretty sorry for themselves. So what happened is that when I found the poppy field, I sent the photo to a, f a friend who is a model who I've uh, shot with a couple of times, and she loves flowers. Her name's Elizabeth. She's also a photographer and uh, Pretty much the moment that she, she got it, she started arranging a shoot. So she brought together me and her as photographers and she found two models um, who I'd never met before, neither of us had met before. And it turned out that they were wonderful models. And so two weeks ago, uh, at dusk, so we were here for golden hour, uh, we came along, four of us, well actually five, because one of the models um, brought their friend with them. So I'll, I'll detail everyone throughout the video. So this is a, this is a bit of a departure for me. This is a, uh, a landscape photography featuring models vlog. And uh, that's what you're going to get now.
what did you think? This is my new life now. I take photos of people. Sometimes they're clients and sometimes they're models. And sometimes it involves the landscape. Leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you again soon.